Hello everybody, my name is AJ and welcome back to another one of my tutorial videos and in this tutorial video I am going to be showing you how to install LCPDFR 1.1, ELS 8.5, Trainer 6.5 for GTA 4, Traffic Flow, VDH Police Helper, VDH Tow Truck Script, and last but not least for the optional one, Cry EMB V3. So we're going to go ahead and get into this and uh, yeah, I'm going to be very specific in this video so please follow along. Um, if you do need to do anything in your free time, please take the time and pause this video because I do not want to lose you on track. So, let's get into it. So, step number one, as you guys can see in the caption right almost somewhere on my desktop here, it says, um, find your GTA 4 copy or have GTA 4 installed or install GTA 4, whatever it says. Step one, install GTA 4. So, once you've installed GTA 4, you are going to go find it, which of course, I provided two links to where they go. If you do have a Steam copy, it will go to this link, which is somewhere around here. It's on the top. And if you do have a non-Steam copy, which should, be, which should be worded right here, it will show a non-Steam link where it should be linking. So I'm going to go ahead and show where they are just in case, you know, just to reassure everything's all right. So once you open uh, file, actually, once you open File Explorer, which is right here, you're going to click on Computer, which is on the left-hand column right here. And whatever disk you installed it on, or whatever hard drive you installed it on, you're gonna to go to, which of course for me is local C disk, which is a normal one. Now this is for the non-Steam copy. This is where you find the non-Steam copy. The non-Steam copy is in Program Files 86. You're gonna scroll down. As you can see, here's a folder Rockstar Games. You're gonna open that, and then here we have it, Grand Theft Auto 4. It is right here. Keep it where you are. And please stay still or skip to the minute that says in order to progress for non-Steam copy users. But now to find the Steam copy, you're going to go here. You're going to click on computer on the left-hand column here. Whatever disk you installed it on, which of course for me, local C disk, which is a normal one. Then you're going to go to program files 86. You're then going to go down to Steam. Then you're going to go to Steam apps. You're going to go to common. And here, somewhere, it should say Grand Theft Auto IV or GTA IV. If you did find it, or if it's whatever it says, there should, yeah, just open it. Or just leave it, yeah, just open it, basically. Just open it, and then you'll see a whole lot of files in there, and then just remain still until we get on to the next step. All right, I'm sorry about that, guys. I just had to cut the uh, tutorial for a second. I just had to explain something that was very essential. Um, if you haven't went in GTA 4 yet, and if you haven't done the introductory mission, um, please do so now, and then please go to your um, bed and click F and save. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is, and reason why it's essential as well is because um, basically if you try having mods and you try saving, sometimes GTA 4 is not going to be the best. So you're basically going to save. Uh, you're going to click select. Uh, I already have a save game. I don't want to do it. But you're just going to click enter, and then it'll ask you, you sure you want to save? Just click yes. And then uh, after that, it'll get out of bed. And you should be done. All right, going back to the tutorial. All right, so step number two: install the patch seven one zero seven zero for non-Steam users. Now, if you are a Steam user, there is a minute that displays that where you can skip to to install LCPDFR. If you are a Steam user, please proceed here. If you are a not Steam user, please listen and watch carefully. All right, so as I drag my Chrome here. Please go to the description, and there you will find a link leading to support.rostergames.com. This is basically where you get your patch 1070, which is completely compatible, that will run LCPDFR for non-Steam copy users. In order to download it, you must scroll down once you go on the website. You must scroll down, and you must go to this second category here, which is eFigs. You are then going to click on English, which is right there. Click on it, and it will give you a download at the bottom right here or wherever you download your stuff. Then, minimize it. Oh yeah, by the way, you want to open it. Open it, then minimize it. And then it should pop up with like a WinRAR like this. Now, after that's done, after you open it and stuff, what you're going to do is you're going to drag this folder to your desktop. Remember, it should be called Title Update 7 en especially on the download, I should say. Then you can finally close this, and we are going to open this folder that we dragged to our desktop, and we are going to click at this bottom application right here. As I said, this is for non-Steam copy users. 
I am warning right. I am warning you right now. If you are a Steam copy user, do not do this. Otherwise, you are gonna mess up your game. All right. So you're gonna open that, and it will go through a setup wizard. I've already installed it, but anyways, it will bring you through a setup wizard. And then after that, if it does ask you that if you want to remove Rockstar Games Social Club in the setup wizard, you will say no. And oh, you will say no to remove Rockstar Games Social Club. Alright, you want to keep that. Okay, then after that, you may proceed with us now, and let's get on to the next part. Step 2, official one. Installing LCPDFR 1.1. In order to install it, you must go to the link um, in the description below, which should be marked as lcpdfr.com slash file slash file slash 4607 dash lcpd dash first dash response slash. You're going to open that, which is step 2. And you're going to click download this file on the website, which should be right here in green. Once you've downloaded it, it will ask you to go through this. Oh, actually, never mind. It will ask you, it will open this little pop up right here, and you will click agree and download. Then it will ask you, and it will say download your files. The one that I would honestly recommend that you download is you're going to go down to the very bottom, which is right here, this one right here, and you're going to download either. You can do either one, it's up to you. I mostly recommend the manual one, but for this one, I would recommend either the second one from the bottom or the very bottom one. So which should be LCPDFR 1.1 installer no ads.exe or the LCPD first response 1.1 manual installer. I'm first going to show you how to install the no ads one, which you can download by clicking that download button and it will open this little thing. It will take about a little while to download this exe, all right. Which uh, once you download it, because I already have it, so you can close. Well, for me, I'm just gonna close that. I'm canceling it because I already have it. Do not cancel it. Let it download. If you are done with that, you may proceed with me. You can go to your downloads list, and you will now go to the one that says right there. It says even at the bottom right there. No ads. You're gonna open this. It should even have an fr icon with an administrator icon. You're gonna open it. It's going to ask you to run as admin. You're going to say yes. And now it will unpack all the data. And now it will ask you, what language would you like? Just click OK. Remember, this is for automatic install, no ads. So now that you're in the automatic install officially, you can click Next. Click I Agree. Now keep all of this. Do not uncheck anything. You're going to click Next and then go here. Click Next. And that's going to ask you to browse for your folder. Now, it will go to EFLC if you do have an EFLC copy. Now, if you're looking to download it to GTA 4, here's how you can do it. You're going to go to Browse. And this is what I even recommend, even if you have it there. You want to go down. All right, you want to go to whatever copy of GTA 4 you have in whatever link. Remember, the links are right up here in the top right corner, Steam 1 and non-Steam. All right, I want to quickly install mine, which is, of course, for me, it's right here, AJ video tutorial and right here after you have done that after you have found your GTA 4 copy in the browse button you are then going to go here and you are going to highlight this LCPD first response especially at the slash in the front of it and you're gonna backspace it you're gonna delete that part of the uh, installation because that's gonna bring it to an LCPD fire folder which you'll have no clue that it didn't install alright so now I should only be lasting with Grand Theft Auto 4 after this slash right here. Nothing else. After that, you're going to click install, and it will start installing everything that it needs to install for LCPD for 1.1. Okay? Now after that, it will ask you if you want to launch a LCPD first response configurator. Uncheck that. You're going to click finish. Now, I'm going to show you how to manually install it for the LCPD for 1.1 manual install. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly download it. I don't know if I have it yet. If you're looking to manually install it, please, please click download this file. And then please go to 1.1 manual install. You're going to download that. As I said, I would mostly recommend either one of those two that I selected. All right. I believe I don't know. I don't have this. All right. Um, actually, yeah, please. Uh, Hmm. 
Give me a second. All right. You know what? I already have something just like this, but just keep downloading it. After you are done downloading the manual install, you're going to go to your downloads list, and I'm just going to quickly find mine. You're going to find the LCPD first response manual installer, which is I something I don't think I have. Uh, no, I don't have it. All right. For some reason, it's down for me, but in case if you're looking how to install it, um, basically, all you got to do is just you have to highlight it all and drag it inside your GTA 4 directory, which is, of course, in the files that looks like um, just kind of like... Wait, let me find it. All right. If you're looking to manually install it, all right, you're going to go in the WinRAR. You're going to highlight every single file that's in the WinRAR, and you're going to drag it into your GTA 4 directory. And your GTA 4 directory should have something like launch GTA 4 or GTA 4 or GTA encoder. If you are at your GTA 4 directory, highlight everything in that WinRAR and drag it in here. And then once you are done with that, we can proceed with our next step. Alrighty. So now that we are done installing LCPDFR 1.1, we are now going to download ELS 8.5, which you can click right here, download this file, and it will start downloading right here. Now, since I already have it, you know, don't don't cancel it. I'm just canceling it just to because I already have it. So just let it download. After it's done downloading, you're going to go to your downloads list. All right. Once you go to your downloads list, you're going to find what the file is called ELS 8.5, which is um, right here. So as you guys can see, it's right here. We open it up. It's going to give you these three folders. Um, you can just minimize that for now. It's going to give you these three folders. What you're going to click on is installation files. You're going to go here. And then as you guys can see where I am, you're going to highlight all of these files. <clears throat> and you're going to drag and drop them into your GTA 4 directory. Move and replace. Yes. Move and replace. Move and replace. Yes. Move and replace. And that's about it. All right. So now after installing ELS 8.5, oh no, excuse me, you can close this. You can proceed back to Chrome. And I can go back in the description and click on Trainer 6.5, which should be a GTA 4 Mods link, which is right here. All right. Remember, all these links are in the description. They're listed step by step. All right. So now, in order to download this, you just got to click the download button on this website as soon as you go on it. You're just going to click download now, and it'll start installing. I mean, start downloading, excuse me. After it's downloaded, you'll open it, and it'll give you all these files. Now, what you're going to do is you can minimize Chrome or your browser. And now what you're going to do is you're going to highlight every single one of these files, and you're going to drag it into your GTA 4 directory. Move and replace, and that should be all about it. After that, just make sure that trainer is down there. See right there, trainer.ini. That is right there. You can finally leave it. And now we can proceed with the next step. Next step, we are now installing Traffic Flow. Now, this is a script that I strongly recommend to anybody who is looking to download any kind of script. I mean, an LCPDFR script or any kind of script. I would honestly recommend this because in GTA 4, if you do not use a script, you are going to see a bunch of taxis, which, of course, I don't like seeing that. So, in, some, in this case, I'm going to download this file. It will give me two options whenever I click download this file. You're going to click on the first one, which is the R2 one. Of course, you want that. You're going to open it, and it will give you these set of files. Now, this will be a little tricky. See how I'm in my GTA 4 folder here? You are not going to install this to your GTA 4 directory. This time, you're going to go to your scripts folder, open it up. You're going to open back the traffic flow WinRAR, highlight all of these, and you're going to drag it in here and drop it. That's about it. It should be in your scripts folder. It should not be anywhere else. And you can finally go back to your other, I mean, you can finally go back to your Grand Theft Auto 4 directory. After that, you can close that. And now we're proceeding with the next step, which is VDH Police Helper. Now, this is a mod that I recommend. It's mostly for realistic police policing. If you don't want to download it, um, then that's all right. But I would recommend it for realistic policing. But anyways, click download this file if you are going to download it. It is in the description, just like any other. Click download this file. It will give you two 
options to choose from. You will click the bottom one, which is 1.21B. You're going to download it, just as I am. It will start downloading. It does take a short amount of time. It shouldn't take as long as LCPDFR did. All right, see it's downloading. It's going to take quite a while. Whilst we are at it, as I said, these links will be in the description. I will not be bullcrapping you. This is in the description. And I hope that you guys are following on track. Remember this sometimes, if you are new to the, this kind of things, it can be tricky. It is not easy. After that has downloaded, you can open it up now. And it will give you these set of files. So now, what you're going to do is, you're, now this will be a little tricky because of the amount of folders and files are here. After you're done with that, minimize this. You're going to go to your scripts folder. And now, oh, I got a, sorry about that, I got a text. Anyways, you are going to go to your scripts folder. You're going to highlight these two. And then you're going to go on top, hold control on your keyboard, and then click that. Or you could just do it like this. You could just drag like that. And then after dragging those two files at the bottom, you can drag this one from the top. And there you go. You have police helper in. I do not want you to download these two files just in case because sometimes random files could mess up your game. Then you're going to go back to Grand Theft Auto 4 and then you're going to exit out of this. Remember that's the only one I don't recommend that PDH file being in there. I mean the yeah PDF file excuse me PDF. Anyways next step installing tow truck. Now this is compatible with police helper it will recognize it as an application on police helper but I would recommend this because it helps realistic policing especially to those cars that are abandoned on the road which will help the game's performance as well. Once you go on the website, which will be in the description as always, you will click download this file, which is right there, and you will go to the top one. You will download the top one, which says 2.0. You're going to open it, just like any other. Exit out this little message, whatever pops up. And then you can go back to the WinRAR and your GTA 4 directory. And now, easy thing, go back to your scripts folder. I'm going to go here, and then highlight these two files, and you're going to drag it in just like any other. Alright, these two are now finally in. We can go back to our GTA directory, and we can close down this WinRAR. After that, you have finally completed your GTA 4. I will go over Cry EMB in just a little bit. I'm not going to go over it just now, because I'd rather use that for later. But... We're going to go on with our, sorry, I'm getting text messages. We are now going to go on with modifying the scripts, as in making some changes in order to make it stable. So, first step of modifying. First thing we want to do is LCPDFR. You will go to your GTA directory, as I am in, which should be having the files included of launch GTA 4. Once you have one in your directory... You are going to go to the LCPDFR folder right here, which is marked in L. And once you are in there, you are going to open LCPDFR Diagnostics tool. Open that up. Now, this little window will open. What you are going to do is you are going to click on Advanced Mode, which is right here all the way at the bottom. It should be like a little sneaky peeky little thing. Click on it. Check it. Then you're going to go to the top and click Configure. LCPD first response. The way how you know I'm on that one is that you see my mouse cursor and that's also highlighted blue. Click on it. After that, you are going to click on this LCPDFR text file here. It should have a gear icon. It'll automatically go there. All right. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, this is, this is my other GTA. Sorry. If you are wanting to look for the configuration file, here's how you do it. You must go to your directory, as always, which is the main directories to find your things. All right, so I will go to my directory. Once you have reached your directory, which I've explained many times how to get to, you will now, once you're in your directory, you're going to go to the LCPDFR folder again. But this time, to open it, to open the configuration, you must click on that LCPDFR with the gear icon there. Just say LCPDFR.ini or whatever, and you're going to open it. 
After it's open, a window should pop up this pop up with this saying on the top of it saying editing E AJ or whatever it is. And this should say Grand Theft Auto 4 slash L C P D F R slash L C P D F R dot INI. If it does those say if does if it does say those three things at the end, the GTA 4, L C P D F R, L C P D F R dot INI, you are all good. It could say GTA 4 or Grand Theft Auto 4. It varies. Alright? Now what you're going to do is you're going to disable and enable some things I'm about to show you. First off, I recommend you check this. Check no focus, no camera focus on world events. Check disable random police chatter, which can get very annoying. Check skip transporter cutscene because that does add on memory to your game as it's spawning and it will cause, sometimes it causes crashes. And then you will not check this. I don't recommend doing this. I mean, it does it does keep in memory, but it does reduce loading times, as mentioned. Then you will go here, which says limit cop cars in pursuit. You will highlight it and mark three. Limit of costs in pursuit on foot. You will highlight it, 20, and you will put it to 12. Then click apply first, just to make sure and assure that everything's all right. Now you will go to the next tab, which is general settings number two. You will disable enable autosave and enable and disable. You will uncheck enable autosave and uncheck use static boat spawn positions. The only one you should have checked, and it's up to you if you want to. This is optional now. I would recommend you do this because sometimes C boats. Um, well, it's depending. I don't know if it crashes, but the only one that I should only see that should be checked is disable boat callouts. That's the only one that should be checked. And you don't have to check if you don't want to, but that's just only optional. But if you are going to disable boat callouts, this is the only one that I recommend that you see unchecked. I mean, not checked, excuse me. So if you don't, if you do want to do boat callouts, uncheck this. If you do want to do, if you don't want to do boat callouts, then check this. Click apply. Now let's just browse. All right, so now it should be all good. You can exit out of this window and click close this tool. Go back to your directory, and now we are going to go to the ELS editing. All right, so now we are on to step two, which is modifying ELS. So in order to modify ELS, you have to go to your GTA 4 directory and open ELS.ini, which is right here. Uh, do not click on .asi. It should be ELS or just ELS.ini. I should say right here, configuration setting, or open that. And then once you go here, uh, two main important things that you want to do is you're going to scroll down here and then you'll see function key and combo key in the tab of controls. Now what you're going to do is you're going to change function key to 17 and you can change combo key to 18. Then once that's happened, you're going to go here, which is right here, which I have highlighted right here. You're going to go here and you're going to change this to CTRL. Same with this one. If I were to backspace it, it'd be kind of like right there. Backspace, 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 backspace. And you're going to type in A, capital A, and then LT. After that, you're going to scroll down, and you're going to go to MISC settings. Now, if you're looking for fast lights, uh, as you guys can see right here, flash delay SP and MP. This basically indicates how um, fast your lights to go. If it's at zero, like closer to zero is faster, closer to five is slower. Um, so if you do want to edit it, you can just change, basically change these values. So if you want it to go just 20% fast, then just go, I mean, yeah, just actually 80% fast. If you want to go 80% fast, just change this number to one. If you wanted to make it 60% fast, go to two and three, of course, it's all like that. So I would recommend either one uh, if you are having a slow laptop or you have a slow computer. Uh, if you have like a high-end computer, then I don't know, it's up to you. It's just basically a scale how fast you get, uh, how fast your light, um, how fast you want your lights to be. So, I could change this to zero and it'll make it really fast. So you could change this to two and it'll make it sixty percent fast. So kind of like that. Um, then after you're done configuring it with that, you can go down and this is a very important part in order for your game not to crash. See these two right here? You are going to make these off. Now it will say on in your configuration, but you're going to backspace it, like backspace, like say say it's on, and then you're going to backspace it and click. I mean, now you're going to make it off. So now after that, once it's off, you can finally exit the file, and you can save it. 
and it should save just momentarily. All right, now we're gonna get in game and let's see how it goes. Uh, in order to get in game, please use this launcher right here. It should say launch GTIV. Please use this, don't use Steam. I recommend this the most. And uh, yeah, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna launch my game and I'll see you in game, guys. Okay, I'm back, guys. Uh, anyways, I just had to exit my game, but um, yeah, pretty much. Uh, if you did close your game, <laughs> It did pop up with saying a memory error. Now that's just the LCP day fire. That's nothing to do with your computer or anything. That's just the LCP day fire. So you don't have to worry about anything. So you're fine. Uh, that's just typical. So don't worry about it. Anyways, now to CryMB, I'm going to close all these other tabs here because we don't need them anymore. We can get rid of these. Now I'm going to show you how to install CryMB V3 if you're looking forward to it. This is honestly one of the best EMBs I recommend. Um, another one is Game for Videos, but you can you guys search that up. I'm going to show how to install CryMB because it's a really good one and. Plus, many of you guys like my graphics, so I want to show this as well. Maybe let's click download. Uh, after you click download, it should be in your downloads folder. So I'm going to hand open up my downloads folder, and it should be like with weird numbers, and then it should say Cry EMB. So you're going to open that up, or you can just open it from Chrome, and then you can just close your downloads list because we don't need it anymore. And now I'm going to show you how to install it. So go to the install folder, and now you're going to highlight all of these and drag it in your GTA 4 directory. Remember, CryMB is a very heavy EMB. I do not recommend it for those who are looking to run on, uh, who run on low-end computers. I mostly recommend a high-end, more like uh, if you have a GTX 750 or higher. I would recommend that. If you're using a GTX, uh, once again, if you're using a GTX 750 or higher, um, then you can use this EMB because it's really deadly. Just saying, but it's really good too. Uh, too. I don't know what that would be in AMD. I believe that would be an R7. Uh, it would be the R7-270X, or whatever, I believe that is. Or the R7-270, I think that is. So I would use that. <clears throat> That's an AMD card I would recommend. Um, but I also recommend NVIDIA. Uh, so after you install CryMB, I'm going to show you how to make it look good. So here we go. As I said, you need a GTX 750 or higher, or R70, I mean the R7-270X or higher. Uh, you're going to go for, uh, you're going to go to Settings. Go to mid end, and now you're gonna paste. You're gonna highlight all these files, and you're gonna paste it in here. After that, you can go back here. You remember, you have to move and replace as well. Uh, after that, now you're gonna go to. Uh, you're not gonna go here because you don't want to go here. You're gonna go to optional presets, and now I'm gonna show you. Um, now this is now this right here is for a high end computer. Someone who has a GTX 960 or higher. All right. This is not recommended for a 750 or higher. This is recommended for a 960 or higher. Okay. Uh, I think that for Radeons, for the, um, I mean, for the AMD cards, that'd be an R9270X. So if you have a seven, if you have below a 960 GTX or below a R9270X, I do not recommend installing this. But since I do, I have a 970. I want to install it. So for God rays, you're going to go high quality. Because that's how they are in real life. And you're just going to basically paste this. You know, just drag and drop. And now that's about it. If you do install it and you have lower than 960 GTX, then RIP your game. Well, <laughs> you'll just get low frames. But you can remove it, though. You can just basically replace it by going back here and then going to um, right here. Basically like that and then just drag and drop. If, you're, if you ever want to un uninstall it, that is. But anyways, after that, you should be all good. Um, you guys can take a look at these, what, what these are. Uh, I would recommend these HD textures if you have a high-end computer, like a 750 or higher. Actually, no. A 650 or... Actually, no, 750 or higher, because that's what the ZMB is. But yeah, that's, that's about it for this one. Um, and you should be all good. Oh, actually, you can close this WinRAR now, but there's something I have to show you. Uh, you can go up, go to... Con I'm going to show you how to make your lights brighter, because I heard that lights... Well, I saw that the lights are not even bright without me having to edit it. Anyways... Go to where I'm going, go to common folder in your directory, go to data, and then you're going to scroll all the way down, all the way down until you see visual settings dot dat. You're going to open that with notepad, and then you're going to scroll down to uh, just just as much as where I am, kind of right there, like quarter way, halfway or whatever, halfway being right there at the bottom. And then basically what you're going to do is you're going to change car default emissive on from 11 to 250. After that, you're gonna click X, save, then you can go back to GTA 4, and I'll launch it and I'll tell you, and I'll show you what it guys looks like. 
All right, guys, uh, I hate to say it, but disregard on that. I won't be launching my GTA because I do not have any ELS vehicles, and I would like to get this video rendered and done um, before LSPDFR does come out because it could come out anytime. It said even in the trailer coming soon, so that means it could be coming any soon or anytime. But, anyways, I just want to get this video out there that we guys, you know, how to know that download this and stuff like that. But, yeah, it, sh it should be looking nice. As I said, I don't have any ELS vehicles, and I can't be bothered to install that. But, yeah, this is the video tutorial on how to install LCP for 1.1, etc, etc. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, remember to leave a like if you like this video. Uh, if your game does crash, uh, if you don't... Excuse me, sorry about that. If your game does crash or it does have any errors or it's not working that good, it's not being compatible, it's, not, it's being very laggy, it's giving you lag spikes or it's making too many noises or it's making some sort of error that doesn't look casual to what I just did. If it's something wrong, please let me know in the comments and I will respond and I will get to you as soon as I can. Um, if you do not have an error and it helped, remember leaving a like always helps and I hope it helped you so much. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys in the next video and yeah. Alright, peace out everybody and thanks for watching. Love you long time guys. Bye bye.